Today we're going to learn how to graph uh, a polynomial. And the first step is to uh, try to figure out what degree polynomial we have. And if we look here, we have an x to the first times uh, an x minus 2 squared. That will put us at x, uh, two x's in there. So it will be x times x times x. Another x plus 3 cubed. So that means you have three more x's multiplied together. And finally, another x uh, plus 6 to the first. So if you were to add those exponents together, you get 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1. This is a seventh degree polynomial. Now, if you've forgotten how to determine what, the, what a seventh degree polynomial looks like, really all you care about is the beginning and end behavior. Um, so the way I remember it is I think about uh, polynomials that have uh, even exponents, like a parabola. That's an x squared. I know that it decreases at the beginning and increases at the end. That's a second degree. I know, a th uh, and that would be true for all even functions, whether it's a second degree, a fourth degree, a sixth degree, uh, and so on. A third degree is a cubic, and that's easy to remember. It looks like that. And that one always starts off with increasing from the left and increasing on the right. And that would be true for every odd polynomial function. And since this is a seventh degree, I know it's going to be increasing from the left and end up increasing to the right. So now that's the first step. Now that we have the shape, um, uh, well, we have the end behavior. Now let's look at the roots. We know that when we have x to the first, that gives us a root at 0. Because that's the same thing as saying x minus 0 to the first. When I have x minus 2, I know that there would be a root at 2. So I'll put a circle there. Actually, actually, that's a double root, or what we call a multiplicity of 2. At x plus 3, we know there's a root at negative 3. So I'll put that down there. And finally, at x plus 6, we know that there's a root at negative 6. And we'll put that 0 there. So now we have all the roots, um, or what's called the zeros. We know that the function, since it's an odd degree, it starts increasing from the left. And uh, at x, mi x plus 6, it's, a f it's only a single root. So we know that when you have a single root, it goes through it. Now, we don't really know how high up it goes because we don't know what the leading coefficient is. So we'll just estimate that because we're just sketching the graph. It's going to come down at x minus 3, and you'll notice that in uh, the root or the 0 for x minus 3, it's this factor x plus 3 cubed, which means there's really a triple root there, or what we call a multiplicity of 3. And we've learned the shape of a graph as a, a, at a, a multiplicity of 3, or a triple root. Looks something like this, kind of flattens out and comes down. And we know there's another root at, uh, at 0. So, you know, we come up. We don't know exactly how far down we go, but we knew we do come up. And we go through 0, and we come up again. Once again, we don't know how, we don't know how high we go. But we do know we're going to come back down at 2. And we'll notice that at 2, this is a double root a multiplicity of 2. Because we see that little 2 up here. So we'll come down. And at a double root or multiplicity of 2, we know that it, the graph becomes tangent at the root or the 0. So it kind of bounces off the x-axis and moves on. And that is our graph. Once again, uh, we have a single root at x at negative 6. We have a triple root at, uh, at negative 3 because of the 3 in the exponent of x plus 3. We have a single root at 0 because of, x minus, of because the x to the first power. We have a double root or multiplicity of 2 at 2. And... There you go. Hope this helps.